light this neon light is lit lit up so what I'm going to do now is release the button um, the button so in, in effect L2 the green is going to go low so I'm releasing it and now you can see it count down there's a countdown timer video on the QFRD 21F uh, here's the circuit diagram and basically it's set up to run a heater and then um, it runs the fan when the heater is on when this K is closed and then when you disconnect K open it up um, the heater stops working of course immediately but the fan will work for as long as you set on this potentiometer. Then there's another wiring diagram you can use and that one uh, just um, kills the power to the L um, uh, you know it, it constantly runs power to the L1 but will kill the power to L2 and cause this fan to run for a certain amount of time so again the fan runs uh, and then when uh, K opens up the 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 fan will um, run for a certain amount of time but this particular unit on AliExpress they have them also on Banggood for a little bit more money so we have dip switches here that control the um, sensitivity of the uh, trim pot here and um, there's a status light here and I'm going to show you a breadboard layout there's another video in Russian that's really good you can find it online but I'm just going to show you my setup in English here um, so I've got a hundred and I'm running a hundred and twenty volts here from um, a power strip and I'm putting it onto this breadboard here's um, the um, positive and here's the neutral so then what we're going to be doing is running um, this um, this first lead here L1 over to the 120 volt we're going to run L2 uh, really it's just going to be an output of this switch here it's going to go to the green wire and that's going to be our L2 the neutral is pretty simple we're just going to run that neutral straight over to the breadboard over there and then um, what we're going to do is for the fan load we're going to use a um, a neon bulb um, uh, for the, the for the fan for the fan load and so I'm running that over to this um, using this blue wire to run my neon bulb I'll show you the neon bulb uh, it's right there right there is the neon bulb and that is just running off of the um, the output the fan output here the blue wire and then um, just to show you I have you know power here I've got a neon light here hooked up to this bus bar that you know is the breadboard so now what we're gonna do is we're going to I'm gonna depress this switch right here and then that is going to um, cause this green wire L2 to go high and then that should um, invoke some reaction from this LED so I'm gonna go press this button right now okay so I'm holding it down and you can kind of see it's just jittering around but um, the the load you can see that the the um, the this light this uh, incandescent light it's not incandescent it's actually neon light this neon light is lit lit up so what I'm going to do now is release the button um, the button so in, in effect L2 the green is going to go low so I'm releasing it and now you can see it count down there's a countdown timer and then the neon went down went went um, off now I'm going to do the uh, I'm just going to quickly press the button now and so I just just this just pulsed the green wire pulsed high L2 pulsed high and and you see it set the timer off now um, 
I'll let you experiment with these dip switches. Um, it's uh, I have it set for about 10 seconds, I believe, or less than 10 seconds, obviously. And I'm just tuning this, this little wire right here. If you have any schematics or any other information on this board, um, it would be good if you just posted those links. Um, this board, this right here, I believe is just uh, converts um, 120 volts to, and this this will actually run 220 also, and uh, it just converts that to five volts. And then this is the relay that basically controls the fan. Here's a diagram that uh, has the L2 input, and then here's the behavior of the fan output.